Okay, Paula, so as long as I've been with you, you've always told mm -hmm. me that Thanksgiving is your favorite holiday. Yeah, it really is. Why? Because it's about those three Fs, family, food, and fun. Oh, <laughs> well today- you know, There's a lot of pressure, Teresa, when it comes to buying gifts, because this day and age, oh, excuse me, I'm having my lunch. <laughs> That's a healthy lunch you got going on. Isn't it? <laughs> um, you know, we all have so much. Mm -hmm. We've got actually more than any of us need. So it's difficult to buy a gift for somebody, you know, because we're fortunate if we want or need something, we go out and get it, which is a blessing that I didn't know for 45 years, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, you want to give something that's, something that fits. And it's meaningful. Yeah. yeah, it's meaningful. That's exactly right. And it can be hard. It can be very hard. Well, and the older you get, mm -hmm. it, it what you want in life is totally different. And you really can't buy it with money. Totally different. I got, got a nut in there wrong. <laughs> um, no. But Thanksgiving, you don't have to worry about that. No, but you got all your family that you love and you, hopefully some friends and just fellowship. All kind of Fs everywhere. Well, you said it's kind of a, the holidays are a stressful time. Well, for some people, Thanksgiving, be. Thanksgiving is a little stressful because it's kind of kicks off everything. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of meal planning. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a mm -hmm. few questions about meal planning. Okay. That maybe you can give some tips to our to the people watching. Um, how far would you start planning your meal? I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks. Okay. Is there anything that you would, I mean, that you just absolutely have to have on the? Yes. On the menu? Turkey is not one of my favorite foods, but it's not Thanksgiving without a turkey. And the dressing is what my family really loves. I know. Jamie has told us in a, mm -hmm. in a, he made a dressing, actually, in one of the earlier videos. Oh, he did? He did. I hope it was good. It was. I ate it. Oh. Uh, well, talk about you it. You have to decide on what you're going to have. Are you going to have turkey, or are you going to have ham, or are you going to have beef, or are you going to have two of the three? Usually, I have turkey and ham. I cook a whole semi-boneless ham. Yum. Which is so good, but the carving of it can be very stressful because I've given that job to people in the past and, you know, my back is turned because I'm doing something else and they just have hacked it to death. And left more on it than you find appropriate. Well, I mean, <laughs> they'll have a piece this thick and just cutting it willy-nilly. Nowadays, you can go out on YouTube probably and watch a whole video on how to cut something. On oh, how to carve, yes. It's amazing. And I do not like um, pre-sliced. Well, I was going to ask things. you, what's your favorite way to cook a turkey? Well, they taste best fried. What is fried turkey? Because some people fried won't turkey. know that because I think, I think that's kind of southern, isn't it? Um, yeah, maybe. It's I, not? I do. Oh, okay. I and think it, it goes everywhere. out west, you know. Oh, good. Um, I think it's one of those things that's maybe growing because it's a lot of oil. It is, but they offer now in the kitchen, uh, turkey fryers. And I tell you what, they work good and they're safe. Um, unlike... Why do you like a fried turkey? Because... Don't you like fried chicken? Mm -hmm. It's just like eating a piece of fried chicken. So it retains the juices. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Um, but frying turkeys outside with a big old flame and a pot can be so very dangerous. Exactly. It can be very, very dangerous. And the first thing you want to do to prevent anything bad happening is take your turkey and put it in the pot that you're going to cook it in and cover it with water and then take it out uh, mark mark the line you know where how much water it took take your turkey out pour the water off 
now you've got your line as to where your all goes. That's a good tip. Yes, because one of the hazards is putting too much oil and putting that turkey down and all ball, 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 balling <laughs> all over, starting a huge fire. So you really need to know what you're doing. Yeah, you do. If you're gonna fry a turkey that way. But I have used the fryers that sit on your counter in the kitchen and they work well. Nice. Um, a lot of people like to do some cooking ahead of time. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. dishes freeze well? I know we're not big on freezing. We usually mm. are doing all the cooking no. the day of. And you can say that. But, you know, if you're having cakes, you can certainly go ahead and bake your cake layers and wrap them up real, real good and put those in the freezer. And then the day before Thanksgiving, pull them out and put your frosting together. That really helps there on saving oven space, mm -hmm. you know, to get that out of the way. Um, I think dressing freezes good. Mm -hmm. I just probably wouldn't put the eggs in it. Until after? The raw eggs, yes. Okay. Until after I take it out. A lot of things freeze now. You know, you can freeze a lot of things. How um, long can things sit in the refrigerator? Because I know with the Lady and Sons, we've always done Christmas sides. Yeah. Um, and, you know, some days we, you were generous enough to close on, always close on Christmas Eve. Yes. So the 23rd was always the day. So it can last right. two or three days mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. refrigerator if you want to just make it ahead. You know, the safe, the safe temperature is 42 okay. in your refrigerator. I keep mine about 35. Okay. Because 32 is freezing. So um, it's important that you keep it very cold. And like I said, if it comes for raw eggs, I usually don't put that in there until... Towards the end. Yeah, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Because you don't do like that. raw eggs. You've, you've told us that on many of them. Yeah, video. yeah. Yeah. Um, what are like must-have side dishes? And you've already said dressing with your family. Well, it depends on where you live, Teresa. And it depends really on your heritage. Because if I was 100% Italian, I'd probably be making lasagna mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. Um, if I lived in the deep, deep south and... Uh, my grandmother was alive and, and we, uh, she could have her wishes. She'd be cooking chitlins. <laughs> <laughs> and her chitlins were very good. But you don't eat just anybody's chitlins. You want to make sure they can see good and clean them real mm -hmm. good. But, um, and if you're in Louisiana or Texas, they, they may have a Tex-Mex flair, you know, to theirs. And, Certainly, uh, Louisiana. Cajun. Cajun, yes, it had the Cajun flair. But for the most of us, we do. And up north, I think they do these free, fruity uh, bread stuffings. Ooh. You like those, Betty? Uh, mm -mm. Where you cut up bread, you know, like a No, I'm a cornbread girl. Me too. Cornbread too. all the way. So down south, you'll find mostly the cornbread. But up north, I have seen a lot of dishes come out of there that's cut up like Italian bread. It's true. Mm hmm And got fruits in it. Is that, am I correct, Daddy? Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, we... Does your mama make a dressing? We make a, um, a meat dressing, a, a more of a, like a pork. Like a sausage? Yeah. Dressing. Yeah, and with some macaroni in it. And wow. But we have every casserole too, don't we, Paula? Yeah. Gotta have every casserole. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you name it. What? <laughs> broccoli, squash. Well, Kari always makes the brown rice Well, casserole. I was going to tell you, that's my next question is, do you cook your all your meals or do other people bring things? You know, Teresa, I've always done the cooking. And, you know, if somebody wants to bring a dish... But you know what? I'm 74 years old now, and I'm I'm having to learn my limits. So I am having everybody bring a dish. 
this Thanksgiving and let them take a bow. You nice. Know? I'll do the meats, I'll do the bread, and I will do the dressing. <laughs> Kari always brings rice because we've done her dish brown before. Brown rice, and it is With so mushrooms, delicious. With mushrooms, right? Yes, yes, And we have yes. that video out there. And Jody makes a wonderful squash casserole. Yum. Which she'll sometimes bring that, but um, yes, we have to have... I have to cook green beans and new potatoes, and I have to have that. And uh, we'll have the broccoli casserole, the squash casserole, the sweet potato casserole. <laughs> but those are all great because you can do them ahead. And they're so good. And there's no calories on Thanksgiving so Day. So good. No, they don't count. They don't count. <laughs> they don't count. Well, kind of the last question that I wanted yeah. to ask you is, Knowing that it's Thanksgiving and it's been some crazy years, um, the mm. last two years, mm. what are you most thankful for? You know, Teresa, I lost my brother. It'll be two years this coming August, right, Eddie? Or will it be in be 2019? Three. It will be three. And I, I learned at a very young age how important family is when, when we were orphaned, when Bubba and I was orphaned. Uh, you learn quickly just how much that family means. And I've, I've heard of people that uh, has broken their family because of a pot, you know, or a planter. I have heard people willing to dissolve their relationship with their family over something, mm -hmm. something. And I don't get it. I just don't get that at all. Uh, so when it comes to family, uh, you just love them to pieces, but you also have to have some forgiveness in you. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I'm, I'm most thankful for family and there's nothing like friends that you choose to pick as a family. So that's it, sister. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Love the ones you got. <laughs> and tell everyone out there, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I send you all kind of love and wishes for best dishes. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.